Hello! In this video I'm going to unbox and review this blue LED car watch from Gearbest.com. Now this is different to the usual watches I review in that it's not an Apple Watch clone. It's just a very simple digital watch. But I'm really interested to see what kind of quality you can get from Gearbest for just basically $5. Now I'm currently at 664 subscribers and I'm supposed to be having a competition at 1,000 subscribers where I'm going to give away an Apple Watch clone. Well I've decided that at 1,000 subscribers I'm actually going to give away two Apple Watch clones. I'm going to give away the Z-Blaze Rover, which is this nice Apple Watch clone with a sort of rose gold surround, it's really pretty. And I'm also going to give away the, um, I think it's called the R-Watch R10, which is a watch with an actual um, heart monitoring thing, the same as the Apple Watch. So I'm going to give those two watches away. All you've got to do is be subscribed to my channel. And then when we get to a thousand subscribers, there's going to be lots more competitions on the way, as well as all of my great unboxing videos. So please be sure to subscribe. So now let's get on with the review of this watch. Okay, so this is the packaging that the watch came in. It came with some other watches, which I'm going to review um, in the next couple of videos. But unlike the other watches, which came in, you know, kind of well-designed boxes with a load of plastic packaging and stuff, this just came in a kind of wrapped in a little bit of bubble wrap, which isn't very professional and doesn't look very good. But then again, I've just checked the price of this watch and it actually costs four dollars and five pence which in UK pounds is like three quid I mean you can't get a watch for like three quid I mean if you did it would just be rubbish so it'd be really interesting to see what this watch actually has we can't really expect too much from this it's not a smart watch it's not going to communicate with um, an iPhone or an Android phone or anything like that that so let's just unwrap the watch and see what features it actually has so if we take off the I mean at least it was in bubble wrap it's going to protect it a little bit in transit isn't it right so this is the watch itself so this is a, a close-up of the watch you can see it's got this sort of metal shiny metal surround here which looks quite good it's got these two buttons on this side and this these interesting um, dials here on the screen. The watch is off at the moment, so this is just literally printed on the screen. And on the back of the watch, it's just a normal sort of um, you know metal cover like you get on any watch, really. But I mean, I have to say, it's quite quite good weight to it. It feels quite solid, and I mean, it's a slimmer profile, a more a more usual. Um, watch profile than a lot of the smart watches that I review so I mean I mean does it look cheap I mean I think if it didn't have these dials on it wouldn't actually look that cheap to be honest and we have this yeah this silicon strap that it says it's got and it's a normal watch strap and it feels quite feels quite robust so it's probably all right to be honest so this display is not printed on the glass it's printed on the back of the watch but you can't really see it even when I turn it to when I turn it to there you can just about see I think so I've put the watch on and the strap feels quite cheap if I'm honest but it's not uncomfortable I mean it's all right okay so let's turn this watch on okay well that was pretty uh, pretty dramatic So basically this is a blue LED watch because it lights up with blue LEDs and those um, LEDs light up parts of these dials to tell you the time and the date. So and it tells us that it's 26, that's 25 and 1 there, I'll press it again, 26 minutes past. And, and if you press that button twice, it also shows you the date as well. And then if you press it again, it shows you the time. And if you wait a little bit of time, it'll then turn off again. Now, this watch didn't come with any instructions, but to be honest, it's only two buttons. You just prod around with the buttons for a bit, and eventually you work out how to use it, how to set the time. It's the usual sort of thing where you hold, I think, this button here. And then things start to flash, and then you can control 
by pressing like the other buttons in this case. So if I, yeah, we go. So if I do that, I can say it's 12 o'clock and then I assume I press this one. Yeah, you keep pressing it until they're all flashing like, or they're all lit up like that. And then leave it and the watch is back to normal. So my only criticism with this watch is that in order to see the time, you have to watch this silly animation. And really, a time is, is a sort of instantaneous thing, isn't it? Where you just want to look at your watch and know what the time is. And the other thing is, it looks quite cool. I mean, that, that's quite a nice little interface. Um, but it's not immediately obvious what the time actually is. You have to sort of work it out. You have to say, oh, like, oh it's 12, 33... AM, oh, it's not AM, is it? I've, I've changed it. But then I guess maybe the more you use it, the easier it gets to tell the time. I mean, it's easier than, for example, a binary watch, which is a watch that tells you the time in using the binary counting system. Um, and I mean, for $4, can you really complain? It feels quite robust. Um, I mean, if that's your budget, then really, you you couldn't really complain, I don't think. So is this watch worth it for $4? Well, I think it is actually, just because it does look all right. And I mean, yeah, it doesn't do much, but what can you expect for $4? So really, I recommend this. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe to be in with a chance of winning one of those two Apple Watch clones that I'm gonna give away. And um, I'll see you next time for another unboxing review. So see you next time.